The first of the keyers that I want to talk about is Chroma Key. Believe it or not, the Chroma Keyer inside of Edius is actually quite good. There are third-party products that you can use, but I've been fairly satisfied with the Chroma Key capabilities of this program. The first thing I'm going to do is just a very simple one. Remember that we sat there and did the mask tool on this, and I made it green on the outside. I'm just going to grab this right here and bring this shot up and over the top, just so you can see what it would look like chroma key. So I go into keyers underneath my effects palette, and all I have to do, now you'll notice this little track down here. I don't pull it down actually on the clip, but I pull it down on this little track right here called the key track. And when I let go of that, actually when I let go of it, when I put it on the right one, you'll see now that I basically I've cut something out of one shot and placed it into another. Now it's not very clean, so if I go in and into the chroma key options right here, I can actually come in and, and really take a good look at it and go into the details. And as you can see, I can do my color range. I can do the power of it. And see, as I'm doing the power and the color range, did you notice how that little green line went away around it? I can also, if I want to crush my YUVs, I can do my chroma base and range and luma base and range. So I have a lot of control over this. And as you can notice over here, I have my tools for being able to select a range of color if I want to. On this particular one, I don't need to. So I'm going to select OK here. And just, you know, a very simple show the shot right there and, and how that works. But I want to do something a little more professional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my bin, double click in the right hand area, and then I'm going to look for my chroma key footage here. And I'm going to bring in this young lady right here. This is donated to us by the wonderful folks at artbeats.com. And I want to bring her down and place her on top of another shot. So I'm just bring her down to the second track up here, lay it down on top. And I'm going to shorten her just a tad bit because of the fact that, you know, I don't want it over the entire shot. I just want it over this section. Okay, so here I have this shot of this young lady here holding the football with her little jersey on. And I go back to the effects palette, and this is how hard it is to key her out. I just, once again, drop it, and there she's keyed. So I can sit there and play it, and look how, with the blonde hair and everything, look how clean that is for just having Edius pick out automatically the color and be able to rip through it. So basically, I've just chroma keyed and placed her into the shot, and with color correction, if I wanted to lighten her up a tad bit to match his coloring and try to make her, you know, look like she's in it. However, that's not the purpose of what I wanted to do here. I'm going to go ahead and just uncheck chroma key here for just a moment. And I'm going to click on the, not on the key area, but the actual video area here, and I'm going to go into my layouter. And what I'm going to do with my layouter is, is I am going to shrink her down. And then I'm going to move her over here to the side. And I'm going to sit there and take a look up here to make sure that I've got her in the right spot. Now I'm going to place her right there, just down in the very corner of this shot. And then what I'm going to do is, is to be able to key out the entire thing, I need to go in here into my layout and look into my background right here under Opacity and Color. And I'm going to pick a background color. So I'm just going to pick the eyedropper. I'm going to go up and pick that color green. So you see the color green right there. Select OK. And then I'm going to bring my background up 100%. Now I want you to notice here that even though I picked the color from the shot, for some reason when the good folks shot this, they shot it artistically. There's different shades of green in there. But when I chroma keyed it out in the beginning, notice that Edius did not just sit there and pick the exact pixel. It literally went in and picked out not just one pixel of the main color, but also anything variation of it that was close to it and automatically keyed that out to where I didn't have to go in with my range finder. So you can see I've got this whole standard color here, which is part of this, but I have different colors sitting in here, right? So now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to select OK. Go back into my key track and turn on chroma key. And now I have a bug sitting right there in the bottom of the screen. Now obviously she just is there and just shows up, which you can't have happen because in TV a lot of times they have some fun way that the bug comes flying on. 
So what I'm going to do is go back into the layouter. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the very first frame, turn it on, double click to get all my keyframes, and then I'm going to move her completely and totally off the screen. I'm going to bring it down just right here, and then once again, I'm going to move her back into the shot. I'm going to leave her in the shot all the way down to this point, and once again, just double click to add keyframes, and then at the very end of it, I want her off again. So I select OK here, and let's watch to see how it looks. She comes sliding in. Oh, she's a little too high on that one, so I'm going to have to fix that a little bit. She sits there and does whatever the bug is supposed to do, and then at the end of the bug, she goes sliding off of it. So basically, in Chroma King and Edius, it's not really that difficult to do. As you can see, like I said before, if I needed to, I could go in, pick out the histogram right there, see the key display if I wanted to see the key display, and be able to pick out the colors. As you can tell, there's only one real big color there. But I can go in and do all of this just in the same way that I did with the other ones. And if there's variation of color in there, or if it's bleeding a little bit onto the person, you just hit detail like I did before and work on the base and range and the cancel color base and range. And you have all these tools to be able to work with like I did on that monument in order to be able to get rid of that little green around it and make it be a really, really clean key. But that's basically how you chroma key inside of Edius.